Uh, so welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Rich McHugh. I manage the Digital Scholarship Commons in the library. I've got a background in business systems administration and I have a master's in education focusing on ed tech. So <clears throat> this is just a quick outline of what we're gonna to do today. Most of what we're gonna be doing is actually hands-on, but I'll start by introducing uh, podcasting, talking a little bit about it before we get to the hands-on activities. So why podcasting? Uh, podcasting is weird, but in a good way. It's uh, local, it's niche, and usually has small audiences with some notable exceptions. Of course, there are some really popular podcasts like This American Life, for example. Podcasting is also democratic. Uh, you don't need a lot of money or expensive equipment to create a community. And its intimacy is really a powerful form of uh, scholarly communication. So uh, in terms of the podcast life cycle, typically most podcasts start off with getting an idea about what you wanna do. And this assumes you're gonna be doing an ongoing podcast, which is a little bit different than your class assignment. But if you were doing an ongoing podcast, you'd get your idea, you'd script it, you'd plan it, record, edit, and publish. And actually, basically it's the same for a one-off uh, podcast. You gotta do your, uh, get your idea, some planning is really important, record, edit, and publish. And I think most people, including myself, when I was starting, I was focusing on recording as being the thing that would take the most amount of time. Really the scripting, planning, and editing probably take up at least two thirds of the time. And it can really lead to a much higher quality uh, recording if you do put that time into the planning up front and don't just sort of wing it. In terms of equipment that you need for podcasting, really all you need is a laptop. If you've got a laptop, uh, you're in business. If you want a little bit higher quality audio, using a USB microphone will make a big difference. And you can uh, borrow USB microphones from the library at the Music and Media Desk. Uh, the library also uh, lends out audio recording devices, like in the bottom left of my screen here. Not quite as useful when you've got to be, you know, six feet away from someone at all times, but after, hopefully after we're back to more back to normal, that's another option for you if you're going to sit across the table and interview someone that way, for example. We have a podcast studio in the basement of the library. It's closed because of COVID right now, but again, once the library opens back up, that's another option for you. And we've got a, a mixer with four microphones that I record individual channels per microphone, which is quite useful for recording. So our workshop activities today are sort of a la carte. They're meant for you to be able to get what you need out of this workshop and move through the activities at your own pace. Um, so we have uh, activity on planning your podcast, recording audio, editing audio, including music and voiceovers, and recording remote interviewees, which during COVID is quite important, and then publishing and promoting your podcast. For today, what we recommend you do is start on the recording, editing, and including music, Go move through those activities, and then come back to planning the podcast on your own, uh, because we can't, well, we can really help you, Bill and I, a lot more with the recording editing and including music, those technical skills, whereas the planning and what you're gonna put into it is a little more specific to the assignment uh, for your class, for example. Another thing, if you're interested, we offer uh, badges or informal credentialing for all of our workshops in the DSC. So if you'd like a digital badge that's cryptographically signed and links to the learning outcomes for the workshop, uh, just I'll put a, uh, this text at the bottom in the chat closer to the end of our time together. You just need to send me the MP3 file of, that you finished after activity three, and uh, we'll issue you a badge that you can put on your resume, LinkedIn page, um, uh, just as an example of different ways you could use it, but that's completely optional. So I'll just show you a couple of key skills that they're in the activity outlines, but they're uh, people tend to struggle with them a little bit. So I'll just show you quickly how to do things. So this is Audacity. And by default, it'll use the built-in microphone on your laptop. Um, so the built-in microphone here. I've got a, a microphone here uh, 
Rode podcasting microphone. So this is where I select it. And another thing that people struggle with is how to select audio. So I'm just gonna click the record button and record a little bit of audio. And I can tell I'm recording audio because of the wave waveforms here. And I'll hit the stop button. And let's say that I want to delete a bit of audio. There's a big gap here where not much is said and I wanna delete that. So I just click with my cursor, I drag and then let go. And that selects that audio. And then if I want to delete that audio, I can hit the delete button on my keyboard or go edit, delete. And boom, it just took that audio out. You can do a similar thing. Let's say this audio at the end is really great. And you know what, I really wanted it at the beginning. So I'll highlight it. I'll go edit, cut, put my cursor at the beginning, edit, paste, and boom, I've just moved that audio from the beginning to the end. Just similar to what you do in Microsoft Word, for example. There, I've gone over the key things that people tend to stumble out with a little bit at the beginning of the workshop. Excuse me. So let's get started. 